Hey, how you doing, guys? All right, so this is kind of a reboot for my channel. I never really put much time into it before. And uh, I just want to kind of redeem that, considering there's not a lot of slow toward content going out these days. So um, I'm going to rehash this old video I did on uh, how to farm around about 300,000 credits in an hour. And as you can see, I am in the black hole. This is where the Imperials start out at. And we're just going to make our way over to the Republic side. It's to where you do the draw mission for the daily. See my uh, lovely Season 1 PvP Rancor. Can't say I'm the biggest fan of the colors, but it is by far unique compared to the other Rancors. What about, uh, I guess, having the mechanical looking Rancor that you can get from uh, Dread Fortress? Well, I won't say that you can get, that you see there. Now, Prophecy of the Five server is not really heavily populated right now. Depending on the time of the day, you may never run into a sort of opposing fashion, faction. But at the end of the day, this is a PvP server, so. You know, duke it out. It's all good. It's the name of the server. So just make them way up here. Now I'm just in PvP gear on this guy, level 60. You can start doing this at level 50. It just takes you longer, obviously. Well, considering there's no one at the entrance there, there's, uh, Someone's inside already. They're probably doing the same thing. Who knows? All right. Now, uh, something that was mentioned before is I didn't really give a comparison on to uh, what I had when I started and what I had when I finished. So, as you can see, I only have three credits right now in an empty inventory. Now all you're going to do is go around to here, here, and here. There's three elite elites. All you got to do is continually kill these same three elites. But you must make sure that you kill the pack of mobs here, here, here. And I hear, just for me because it goes so fast, I kill those for time's sake. Now, if you don't kill a certain amount of NPCs in between, the uh, elites will spawn at a slower rate. So as long as you just kill these packs in between, they a level 60 that just fall over it looking at you, then you should be fine. Well, let's get this started. I'll do this for about 10 minutes just to show you what you can get. But again, if you take what you sell, or take what you get and sell it to the vendor along with what money you get from the drop. You can make about 300k an hour. I just don't have the patience to stay here that long most times. And uh, right now it is 6.30 round about. So let's get this started. You guys drop pretty easily. Four storm for the win. I'm gonna miss it when they nerf it. It's gonna make this take a little bit longer because that's primarily all I do with these mobs is four storm the hell out of them. Well, while well, I'm going through, I'm just farming this away. Um, just let you know a little bit about myself. I uh, I got out of the army a couple years ago and, you know, worked railroad construction for a while, didn't really know what to do, so I'm going back to college currently at age 30, so I feel a little out of place there, but, well, in the meantime, I've been uh, playing a lot of Star Wars The Old Republic. I've been playing this game since early access, and I've continued to do so with only about a month or so break ever in between, you know, just taking vacations or whatever. 
Now, I did make a mistake early on in the game. That's why you don't ever see me post on the forums or the official. Was, uh, my friend got me to space bot the game early on, so I can never post to the forums. It's a flaw on my part, and I didn't really know anything about MMOs at the time. Or I didn't, like most people, take the time to read terms of terms of service. No one's fault but Bone. I got it. At least I didn't get a perma ban. Now, after one rotation, as you can see, I've already picked up 10,000. And each of these just figure about 1,000 each. Some sell for more, some sell for less. And I've been doing this for only about a minute. And there's 10,000 credits. Now the problem with this is it gets really monotonous. But there's no faster way to get cash if you need it. Well, back to what I was talking about. Uh, yeah, I've been playing this game since early access. The first character I uh, ever rolled, like many people, was uh, my Marauder. Power tech from there, and then you know, a little bit of everything in between. Uh, currently, I have, uh, I think, 14 characters on Prophecy of the Five server, and 13, yeah, 12 or level 60, and yep, a Sentinel, which I just can't bring myself to play much anymore. Uh, I got him at, I think, 54, and then I got a Baby Vanguard, level 11. But I do have one of every advanced class. Uh, most of them are in decent PvP gear, um, like the Sword Care. He's, I think, all Dark Reaver. I got some mods and enhancements to switch out. But that's a lengthy process, considering I don't... Uh, do rank most of the time. I kind of enjoy the regular war zones. A power tech and uh, I th think uh, yeah, my power tech and operative and my juggernaut are all in just base level PvP gear. Nothing special about it. Still got to do all dark reroll those. Uh, my assassins in the same boat. Uh, my commando as well. Um, I've been currently on a mercenary kick, and he's in mostly Dark Reaver. Been kind of switching back and forth on him on uh, between innovative ordnance and arsenal. Trying to memorize so many names it gets annoying. I really wish they would have just kept it Pyro. There's no need to change the name. I can never remember the damn thing anymore. Well, I've been going at this for four minutes. And I currently have 20,000 sitting there. I know it can be a little boring sometimes, but you know, there's not much commentary I can do for uh, farming a shitload of mobs. It's just what it is. Sometimes I'll just pull out HK, let him kill shit while I sit there and dick around. Watch YouTube or something. Now, something that's handy to have here is um, the field repair droid. That way you don't have to leave if you're sitting here in the middle of the night and just want to farm to your heart's content. I think the most money I've ever pulled out of here oh man I think it went two million in one day when I was trying to get my uh, Bantha which was selling for about four million on the cartel market. And my problem is as soon as I get money or credits in this game I spend it. 
it seems like I'm always trying to change out my uh, appearance one way or another. This is not the look I really want for this sort, but, you know, I get a sage too, so they just kind of shared gear. And legacy gears, the way to go. Really annoys me how the pop up for the loot drop doesn't show up for a couple seconds afterwards sometimes. Uh, now I tried Twitch at one point, but uh, didn't really stick with it. It's kind of hard to be on during peak hours sometimes. I like to go out for walks about that time, right in the evening. And I have to find myself doing a lot of reading for school, so I just get my time in when I can. This is actually a rare occasion that I'm on here at this time. I just got curious about getting this video out. Like I said, I'm probably not the most entertaining guy, but I know a lot about this game. Not the best in the world, but I really do enjoy it. But at the end of the day, it is a game, and if you don't enjoy it, don't play it. Don't get butt hurt over it. All right, been at this seven minutes now. Yeah, I'm not really trying to take all day with this. I just kind of want to show you guys about how much you can make given the time frame. Now I said about three hundred thousand an hour. And I guess we're gonna put that to the test here. Now, all my videos that I do, I play on a 2560 by 1080 monitor, and I'm trying to record in the same. So, if you have a widescreen, you'll like this. Now, as far as key binding and clicking, I have everything bound to a noggin mouse. Yes, sometimes I might backpedal. Especially my Merc, since uh, I can fire while going backwards now, and you know that uh, blazing bolts kind of keeps people at bay while you're running. But that's really about the only time I'll do that. When I started out this game, it is my first MMO. I did click, and it took me a long time to get broken from it. I went to keyboard for a while just to key bound everything to keyboard, but once I got the Naga, it's pretty much done from there. It just makes everything so easy. I don't have to reach across the keyboard, so that's good. I have days when I do really, really well, and I have days when I do really, really shitty. But I guess that's just about like any of us. My favorite class to play, well, that switches back and forth. Currently, it's my mercenary. I just find it easier to farm this place with four storm on my sword. All right, one more run, and I think uh, ten minutes will be up, and we'll see where we're at. As soon as I do this loop, I'll end this. Go sell what I have and show you what I got. Now what I plan to do is just put out a bunch of PvP videos and maybe a few other things if people want it. Maybe to show people my stronghold, but that gets kind of boring after a while. Pretty much everyone's got something better than I do. <laughs> More for functionality, I guess. Though I did take time to dull up my drum and cost stronghold a little bit. Alright, this will be the last guy I kill here, and we'll see where we're at.
All right, pick this up. And in just that 10 minutes, we have 50,000 there. Let me go to my stronghold and we'll see what I can sell this stuff for. Now I have slow to on SSD, so it loads a little bit faster than some people. The computer's not beastly, but it is uh, pretty good. I have the ability to play this game on ultra high settings, though I find that uh, it lags out a little bit whenever you're trying to record and do that. It's all my junk. It's all this greens. Okay, and as you can see, I started out with three credits, and in 10 minutes, I have 93,000. Now, I said 300k an hour. I guess that depends on what drops. You can actually get quite a bit more. I mean, do the math. 93,000 in 10 minutes times 6. Yeah, you're probably pushing close to 500,000 an hour, but... You know, I, again, that just depends on your crits. Well, I guess while we're here, we can check out my little uh, stronghold. This is my little garage. Keep some of my cool stuff. I got a lot of other mounts, but, you know, just, I don't want to clutter up everything. It's my little cantina area here. I don't really know what this is. I'm assuming some kind of classroom. Fuck, I don't know. Waiting area. You gotta wait to see the uh, Dark Lord of the Sith. Kind of a bland stairwell. Hey, it's my casino. Got my tweet of dancers. Got some tables. Get a slot machine. Get you a drink in the bar. VIP area. Companions bedroom. Master bedroom, I guess. Not very impressive, but. And randomly, a golden hut. Yes, I have a golden hut. It's awesome, isn't it? Yeah. Well, I, I know sometimes I'll go minutes without talking, but, you know, I don't claim to be some very uh, <laughs> talkative person. I just enjoy the game, and I hope that other people get to enjoy this game. It really has a lot to offer. Ever since summer 2012, it's just kind of died off a little bit and that makes me sad to see. Well anyway guys, I'll be uh, posting more often and uh, hope to uh, see you guys uh, subscribe. All right, thank you.